Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. California's security shakeup, clear faces potential ban, Matterport skyrockets with CoStar acquisition, Exxon Mobil surpasses Tesla in the great oil EV flippening, Meta challenges Apple with Quest headset OS reveal, Palantir Technologies breaks losing streak, AI stocks steady themselves after rough Friday and ahead of earnings reports. Plus, Goldman's dividend yield and growth stock list unveiled and J.P. Morgan's Kalinovic predicts continued stock market correction. Stay tuned after this short ad break to delve deeper into these headlines. Josh Newman, a senator from California, has put forward a bill with the aim of prohibiting Clear Secure's fast-track security service at state airports. The reason behind this proposal is concerns over fairness. This service enables subscribers to avoid lengthy queues for an annual fee of $189. Republican Senator Janet Nguyen and several unions are in favor of this bill, while airlines are against it. The bill proposes that Clear Secure should set up distinct security zones. A decision on the matter is expected to be made on Tuesday. CoStar Group has plans to purchase the spatial data company Matterport. The value of this acquisition is estimated at $1.6 billion. The agreement includes both cash and stock, with shareholders of Matterport receiving an equal distribution of each. After the news was made public, there was a significant increase in Matterport's share value by 187%. Both entities have a common goal to digitize real estate worldwide. It is anticipated that the deal will be finalized within this year. On Monday, Tesla experienced a 3.6% drop in shares, even with a market capitalization of $449 billion. ExxonMobil has recently overtaken Tesla's market cap, and Toyota is not far behind, with the valuation gap now less than $150 billion. Attention is now turning to Tesla's Q1 earnings report due on Tuesday. Key areas of interest include the automotive gross margin and AI initiatives. Predictions from options trading suggest we might see a share price swing of around 10% following the report. Meta Platforms has plans to license its Quest headset operating system to other device manufacturers. This includes companies like Asus and Lenovo. The aim is to position itself as an open alternative to Apple's Vision Pro. In addition, the company is in the process of developing a gaming-focused headset in collaboration with Microsoft's Xbox. They are also promoting alternative app stores on their Horizon OS platform. However, it should be noted that the launch of these devices might take several years. Palantir Technologies, a firm specializing in data analytics, has ended its six-day downward trend with a 2.5% increase in share value, bringing it to $20.98 per share. Despite experiencing turbulence in April, the company's shares have skyrocketed by 141% over the previous year. This growth significantly surpasses the S&P 500 index's gain of 20%. While analysts' opinions vary, they emphasize Palantir's potential for sustained success and reliable revenue stream from U.S. defense contracts. Following a tough end to the week, stocks in the artificial intelligence sector are finding stability in anticipation of earnings reports. NVIDIA shares experienced an increase of almost 2%, bouncing back from a 10% drop, even with a downgrade from UBS. On the other hand, super microcomputer shares saw a decline of more than 2% due to apprehensions surrounding its quarterly results. Other key players in the industry such as Qualcomm, Broadcom and Texas Instruments also witnessed an upward trend on Monday. Analysts from Goldman Sachs forecast a rise of 6% in stock dividends for the current year. This increase is expected to be fueled by robust growth in earnings per share, also known as EPS. The initiation of dividends by large-cap technology companies such as Meta, Salesforce, and Booking Holdings will further enhance the growth of dividend per share or DPS. The report identifies numerous firms across various sectors that show promising prospects for dividend yield and growth in 2024. J.P. Morgan strategist Marco Kalinovic cautions that the ongoing downturn in stocks and bonds might persist even with the forthcoming first-quarter earnings reports from leading corporations. 
Factors contributing to this concern encompass elevated equity valuations, enduring inflation, possible Federal Reserve repricing and excessively hopeful profit forecasts. The addition of geopolitical strains and unyielding inflation intensifies investor pressure to reduce risk. And that's a wrap on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Keep investing in knowledge, stay financially savvy, until we meet again tomorrow. Farewell. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. See you later, until tomorrow comes around. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.